Well, Kevin, you said you had some walnut uh, stuff for sale. Is this it? This is it. Looks good. Bring, bring your check for it. <laughs> Just give you a blank check? Yeah. So Kevin has been tinkering with the sawmill. You've got it pretty much figured out. I think we got it dialed in pretty it's, good. It's dialed in really good. So he had a big walnut tree. Is some of this walnut over here too? This one right here, right here, isn't it? It was the bottom part of that one, or the top part of it. So he had one, it's the same size. It was the bottom part of this one. And uh, he'll have a video over on Hidden Heights Farm probably in, before this one comes out or after. But you guys can watch him mill up this awesome piece of uh, walnut. Same size, right? Yep. Just the bottom yep. part it of was it. A, it was a little bit shorter. That's how long it is right there, about seven foot. And then yesterday we milled one of those sycamores. Yep. Oh, yeah, look over here. Made so, a exciting. So Kevin's about open for business. Start taking some people come up here and start buying some uh, milled wood, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's got a pine back there he milled. Then we did that. Now he's got some more of this, so I mean we're we're gonna start running low on uh on wood, Kevin. We're gonna get some trees. <laughs> so today what we're gonna do, I came over to Kevin's house. Um, we changed the blade on that yesterday, and it's cutting really good. So we're gonna put this piece of oak I got over here, and I'm gonna do some live edge um, siding, probably for my well house or maybe my little tiny cabin. Um, this will do a little bit of it, but kind of kind of just gonna get the feel of it. Let me show it to you. That is hickory. Is that yeah? That is hickory, isn't it? Yep. So this hickory one right here. Um, I don't know how much siding we'll get out of it, but we'll get some to at least do a test run. What thickness are you going to go with? Man, what'd you do? A three quarter inch? Three quarter, and that might be a little thick. Yeah, we might. Well, about half inch. We could try it. Might do half inch. But we'll we'll get some out of that. So that's what we're going to show you guys today. We're going to. Kevin's got his Kubota. He's got the um, grappler on it. Um, he'll load that up, and then we'll do some live edge. And uh, it'll look it'll look a lot like this, but just different wood, obviously. But I think that looks awesome. Kevin, I was telling on your video, you probably haven't edited yet, but um, we got the hitch for this. Yep. Um, so not only can we take it back and forth to the property, but if someone calls us and says, hey, I got a walnut tree down here. Do you guys want it? We could take it right down there and mill it up on site. Definitely. How awesome is that? Yeah, mobile. It just opens up the possibilities of doing other things other than just our own. Um, right now, we just wanted, we want to get our projects done and then maybe in the future we can move on to that. Um, so we'll load this up onto the sawmill. Let me show you the sawmill real quick. You guys may not even know I have a sawmill because we haven't put any videos out um, since last fall on this, I don't think. It's the Norwood Lumber Pro HD36. And like I said, we got the hitch we got to put on there. You know, it's mobile. That's what's so cool about it. This is the same one Dave was demonstrating down there at the expo, wasn't it? Yep, those are. Okay, we'll show you loading it up and then milling some wood and then uh, we'll go from there. So this tree right here, um, hickory tree, this is the one um, that was in front of the pole barn that we were gonna build that I cut down that was right by our road. It's a, it's a good size good size tree to get some good siding out of. Hopefully it makes good siding. We'll see how it looks when we cut into it. And it might be too long. It might be. Is that your soul? Too long. I can go get it though. I'm, I'm sure we can cut it. It's taking a little bit. It took me forever to cut that pine. Yeah, this is this is almost this is twelve and a half. What do we need to have? About eleven or twelve? I don't remember, let's see. So, I wonder how far that is. Okay, so this is about nine inches too long for the sawmill, so I'm gonna cut it off. Kevin just sharpened his um, steel chainsaw, so we'll show you that, then we'll start milling.
got a bunch of ants. Those are big ants too. Yeah, they are. My gosh. All right, we're going to cut into it and see what it looks like. You guys won't believe what's inside this uh, hickory. Look at that. That, that might be my title. They won't believe what we found on the inside. Down here too, look at this. I think the whole middle is hollow. Haul Right here. He's the only one that's got yep. wings. Oh there's no, I guess there's two uh, of them. Three of them. Maybe that's something else, but they're carrying eggs out. Yeah. See that? That's crazy. Big old colony in there. Kevin, they won't believe what we found inside this. You will not believe it. How old do you think this tree is? Uh, I don't know. The 75 year old tree. This one over here is 214 years old. Oh my gosh. This one's probably, I don't know, 30, 40% smaller. So that's 120 yeah. probably. That's crazy. That looks pretty cool, don't it? Yeah. We ain't gonna be able to use that, but you can see just how hollow that is. You wanna go down and cut? So much? I think so. Oh, what is that? Oh. Yeah, probably take down like three inches. Yeah. We're gonna take it down three inches and try to get rid of this whole thing because we can't use any of that. It looks cool, but we can't use it. Bucket or in your truck? I think loaded. <laughs> 
it's gonna look weird when we move it. Huh? Oh. That's weird looking. I'm about scared to grab it, man, and once. They're everywhere. I know, they're gonna see me. Ready? Thousands of them. Here, just drop it. Huh? Drop it. Well, I just cut metal with a metal band blade, and uh, well, I wasn't paying attention on this side. That's a that's an easy mistake to make, and I cut right into this. Check this out. Yeah, it actually cut the metal with the blade. So we're pretty good at changing these out now. Ain't we just we? changed one out last night. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Me neither. I wasn't watching. That's my fault. I should have been. When you're cutting, you got to pay attention to both Man. sides. It'll be right though. I was just watching these stinking ants. I know it's crazy. There's thousands of them. Like it's unbelievable that there was this many ants inside this old hickory. It's crazy. And they're still coming. I see one of them killer hornets you got or whatever they are. All right, we'll change this out and uh, we'll be back.
good. Guess it over there. Yeah.
I'll sell one more. Well, Kevin, you got a lot of firewood. Got a lot of firewood. Is that not crazy? I think we just need to stay away from the hollow trees. Yes. It's almost impossible to cut. So what we found out, like Kevin said real quick, is the hollowness of the tree would put the blade in a bind or something Big and time. would just make it almost impossible to cut right. Um, so we didn't we didn't know. We knew there was a little hole in there. It ended up being almost a, like three quarters of the tree. Um, I plan on making some siding. What I'm going to do... We'll finish this video up back at the house and we'll go with that when we get there. But real, I'll show you the whole tree. That's just going to be firewood for Kevin. Literally, probably three-fourths at least, huh? Yeah. Or more. Even so, the bottom part of this one, it's all hollow. It's all hollow, you can't yep. see it because we flipped it. But we flipped it over, like you said. There it's was full of ants. Ton, thousands Big old ant of them. nest. Big little colony of them in there. So literally, that was basically the whole tree that we're going to have to scrap now. Um, one thing, I'm not going to say it was a waste of time because we learned something. Yeah. Stay away from them hollow trees. For sure. um, you got a big hollow one over there. I'm kind of... I don't know. I think I can stay away from the center, though. It looks like that one's mostly in the center, but yeah. I don't know. We'll see. You still got either, even if it's hollow all the way through, you still got a bunch sure. of usable wood on oh, there. Yeah. It's big. This, I don't think there was any avoiding it. Do you yeah. on this one? This, this would be good for like crafts or something like that, but it's... A lot of wear and tear on your sawmill yep. trying to cut this stuff. So this old hickory tree, you could tell the difference. It was, it was, it's a hard wood for sure. That walnut, it cut that walnut a lot easier. It cut it real smooth. Real it, smooth. Didn't, it was solid. It didn't have no holes or cavities in it. So that walnut looks awesome. It's a hard um, wood too. But yeah, for sure. It cut good. I think that this hollowness just messed it up, and we've never cut a hollow one yet. Um, so that was actually well. Well worth our time on learning a lesson on that. Um, we won't waste our time anymore on it for sure. Um, but Kevin, thanks a lot for letting me come over and yep. run the sawmill, get your tractor over there. Um, Kevin took the, um, his bobcat, or not bobcat, his Kubota. <laughs> wish, I wish I had a bobcat. His Kubota over there and dug um, dug the, the water line for me. I might have showed you guys that already, but um, this is kind of all on the same day. We're getting a lot of videos done today. Um, but overall, the sawmill is running a lot better. Better is cutting a lot better. Um, we just got to get the trees that we want to actually mill. And that was a big one. It kind of just 
had too big of a hole in the middle. We'll see you back at the at the house. I'm gonna try to put a little bit of this up on the well house. Okay, I'm back at the house. Um, we're running out of daylight. We had Brandy and the girls got home. They were out of town. I didn't tell you guys that part, but they're back now. So we went to eat dinner, and now it's getting dark on us. So I can't do what I was wanting to do. Um, we actually got well. We got a few pieces that we can uh, experiment with. Um, so my idea is I want to put the life edge over here on the well house and uh, screw what I got on screw up there just to see if that's what we like or what I like and. Uh, I was going to do that in this video, but we don't have time, so it'll have to be for the next video, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm looking forward to putting it on there just to see how cool it's going to look. Um, there's several different ways you can do sightings um, on houses and cabins and wellhouse, stuff like that. This is one way. Um, this is an easy way to do it, um, so I just want to see how good it'll, it'll look. Check it out. This is literally all that we were able to salvage from that big tree, which is pretty disappointing because it takes a long time to do that. Um, so this is probably going to be more just a test run. Because you can see a lot of it has holes in it still we didn't, i didn't get hardly anything usable um, but it will allow me to at least put it up on there i'll screw it on there so i can screw it off just to see if we like that um, if we don't like it if we don't like that way then i know i need to square it up and then just cut slabs that way and then do it do a different different type but i think it'll look really cool it'll look different especially coming into the property you see this came off or this came off or probably this tree did it came off it was right there um, it's just it's just disappointing that it had that big hole in it with all those thousands of ants in there it had a whole colony of ants um, It was just unusable for milling. Yeah, that's just disappointing But Kevin will get to burn it um, if we would have known that that's actually like a lesson that we didn't know um, If there's a little hole in it, it could go all the way through it and get really bad like this So maybe it's not even worth uh, cutting those trees down that tree actually had to cut down because it's in the way um, But for future references stay away from the hollow trees because you might just end up wasting your time uh, slabbing those up What's up, hubby? Nothing. Did you have a good weekend? Yeah. You see the wood cut? Right here. Oh, good job. Does that look cool? Yeah. So we'll know to stay in hickory. Um, I'm not necessarily wanting to use hickory on that anyways. It's just one that we cut down. I didn't want to waste the waste the lumber, but it being the way it is, it is it's it's a good firewood now anyways. Um, so I want to I want to do oak on here, and uh, this will be, give us a good option look so stay tuned for the next video i will show you putting this up on there just to see if we like the way it looks if we do then we'll we'll slab some oak up and do it that way but thanks for coming along today's video of us using the sawmill and we got dialed in i think um and I'm, I'm excited i'm ready to get the next uh tree cut so we can actually put the siding on here and then get it insulated and all that uh, fall is just around the corner we're, um, we're expecting a cold, a cold front pretty uh, pretty soon and a cold front is going to be a low in the 50s and highs in the high 70s so it's actually really nice weather we could with nice weather be doing this kind of stuff for sure so we're looking forward to that so love you guys thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video